The vervet monkey sitting on the left is named Tripod. Tripod is one of the oldest bandits at the Vervet Monkey Foundation. The monkey currently being groomed is named Jasmine. Jasmine lives with her friend Pedro and her daughter Jezebel in a skunky troop intro enclosure. This is Jezebel, Jasmine's daughter. As you can see, Tripod is missing an arm. This is due to an incident that occurred with an electrical pylon many years ago. Tripod is a legend at the Vervet Monkey Foundation. He mostly hangs out on his own, and he roams wherever he wants. But he has plenty of friends, and gets groomed all the time, by the females in the various enclosures. There are quite a few bandit juveniles, but none of them have names. The adult female on the left is named Eyebrows, and she can often be found hanging out with her kids and their juvenile friends. And here comes Coquelico. And sitting beside her is her child. This is Amber. She wasn't too pleased with Eyebrows and her kids hanging around her intro enclosure, so she threw some shade at Eyebrows, and Eyebrows returned the aggression with full force. One of the juveniles became frightened and latched onto Eyebrows. Emily, who's sitting behind Eyebrows, decided to come help. But Eyebrows was already on edge because of Amber, so she told Emily off with a redirection of aggression, and then told Amber off some more. There are more juveniles in the bandit troop than ever before, and they love to cause mischief. Often, the number one cause of a leaky pipe is a thirsty bandit. Family is essential in vervet culture, and most of their days are spent lounging and relaxing, enjoying their time with one another.
The large male on the left is named Han Solo, and he is enjoying a very thorough grooming by this young juvenile. Just look at the concentration on that little guy's face. While these two juveniles were grooming Han Solo, another juvenile approached them from behind. The two who were grooming were not okay with this, most likely because this third juvenile is of a lower rank. They gave some warning bites and sent the little one on her way, but she quickly returned and stood her ground. Eventually, the other two caved and started grooming her. Han Solo then made his way over to join Eyebrows and the kids hanging out in a tree. The chattering in the background is coming from the Robert Troop Monkeys, who are not too pleased to have the bandits sitting so close to their enclosure. While the Robert Troop monkeys sit at the fence watching, a bandit juvenile decides to test his limits. Han Solo then stepped between a juvenile and the Robert Troop monkeys. <laughs> Having Han Solo around boosted the juvenile's confidence, and they all joined in on the fight. Han Solo decided he had had enough and went back up into the tree. But the baby who started the conflict was more worked up and began to scream. This is when Eyebrows and another female named Frida stepped in to fight. Thank <laughs> you. 
There was a brief moment of redirection of aggression from eyebrows toward Han Solo when he scared a juvenile as he was jumping from the tree. After the conflict was over, the bandits did what vervets do best. They congratulated and groomed each other, and then made their way over to Mainfeed to reap the spoils of their victory. Eyebrows went to town on some sweet potato. This is Marco. He had nothing to do with the fight, but he rewarded himself with a fresh papaya and sat high on the wall watching for intruders. And poor Greg, no matter how hard he looked, he just couldn't seem to find his favorite plate. Greg finally gave up and went home hungry and frustrated.